get a drink or two, be our guest. But we're gonna jump into this next set. Mad making a return to the stage here with his Game & Watch versus Rifle. And uh, we're going to Battlefield for this first game. Guess who's back? <laughs> back <laughs> again. Game Mad and Watch. <laughs> watch. Game and Watch. All right, yeah. but Game & Watch taking so much percent right here in this first stock. Yeah, Rival's flying around the stage right now. He's oh. moving. But uh, Matt also swinging uh, with the nine actually coming out, but not going to register onto a rival. Yeah, and unfortunately, now that he's gotten the nine out, he's not getting that again for a little bit. Uh, I believe it's uh, still like a two number queue where the, the last two numbers that you got, those cannot occur again. I'm not sure if that's uh, I'm not, changed. I'm not sure, uh, but I saw a tweet but... from uh, Meister where it actually got a slight buff technically in this game because the RNG, how it works, is like, I think. Uh, you, you can't, it's like you said, you can't get the same number twice. So if you, you're right, in, in that situation, he's not going to be able to get it again. But uh, I saw that Meister said, like, if I if you see me spamming the uh, the hammer, it, it's because I didn't get a nine. So you're more likely to get a nine if you didn't get a nine the first time. Yeah, so you can kind of, like, ride that a little yeah. bit. It's kind of like, I, not, not quite the exact same concept, but, right. you know, with Peep, you start pulling turnups because you're just like, well, I'm going to see if I pull a stitch because right. I got some time. Yeah, totally. The rival doing a really good job. Giving him the <laughs> chef. <laughs> the chef gonna gonna do him in real dirty right there. Uh, rival gonna drop that stock, but he's got 78% already onto Mad. And Game and Watch, not a particularly heavy character, so he's got to be careful. Yeah, I mean that's one of the deceptive things about Game and Watch, where he's just so light. Where we saw it earlier with the the uppy uh, kill that, that uh, ZSS managed to pick up on him. Uh, where he just was flying. He was that didn't have that much percentage on him. I think he was around 70, 80 for that one. Yeah, 82 percent onto Rival now. He finds his way off of the ledge with the flip kick. Man, he's getting stuck, dude. That that chef is such a good tool, and there it is again. The the uh, berry into the up B. The boost kick is gonna do it a trick. We're moving on to our last stock, and Matt absorbing the paralyzer shot right there. All right, we're at one. Something, something Rival's got to be careful about, for sure, because that oil panic can be a real threat. Yeah, you can't feed that away. I mean, you give, you give up, you know, if he gives up two more of those, all of a sudden you're in real trouble. It puts a ton of threat out here. That's going to clean up the stock off yeah. the down smash. Where, and I still love that that combos. Yeah, and we're, we're already starting to see, like, the fact that the uh, oil panic, like, into play, right? The, or I should say the bucket come into play. The fact that he absorbed just one, has made Rival not shoot a single Paralyzer since. There's one though, he's actually able to connect it, so he found that read and got quick two uh, neutral airs and the, the up airs to juggle as well. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, I think one thing that we, we're kind of seeing here with uh, better players where, you know, I think uh, I've heard Rival's name, I think he's a pretty good player. Oh yeah, he's definitely uh, a good player. Where really a lot of better players are punishing that key when it's coming out. Yeah. Like the, the down air is something that you know, a person like myself oh, is a... No. There it goes, yeah. Very to boost kick. And that's going to be game number one for Rival. I think he got all three stocks with that yeah. exact same setup. Yeah. <laughs> so Very into boost kick. <laughs> so nice. Nice stuff. But yeah, well, uh, like I was saying, when the key comes out, you know, weaker players who might not have as much Game & Watch experience, that they're not, like, you know, as ready for it. Yeah. As soon as he sees that, he's kind of like, I'm coming for you. Yeah. You better oh, yeah. be ready. Totally. <laughs> Uh, but you know that that key also did make uh, Game Watch a lot better in this game. I think it makes like his up B has so much threat out of shield, where it, or you know if you're over him, where it'll hit you, knock you away, and then he can down air himself back down, where he, so he's not just like slowly floating like a sitting duck. So we are going on to game number two, Pokemon Stadium two, and uh, rival already opening up with a quick 18 percent. Mad. Dash attack to dash yeah. attack. <laughs> Answering right back. Dash attack to dash attack actually did more than what Rival had done, so pretty good. Ooh, okay. Oh, gets the chain, and this yeah. is not Smash 4, so yeah. he's not going to die there. But Yeah, and you can see Rival didn't even go for it. Instead, waiting to see how Mad reacted and see how he could follow up instead. And that's one there on the bucket, too, so he's got you know, one charge on the way there. That's, again, like you said, it's going to take away the Paralyzer option just a little bit from him. He's going to have to be a little bit more mindful about it. Yeah, he's actually going to have to read, um, like, a landing instead of, uh, like, just kind of shooting them out as, as a zone pressure. Yeah. 
Matt's still really throwing out that, that shaft, even in like neutral, not even just this match guard anymore. And, oh, he waited. He wanted the uh, he wanted to try and combo off of that. Probably was going to try and get like a down tilt to you know, maybe some up air chain. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Because he wasn't at any percent where he was going to die, so he just kind of wanted to get some, see how he could get some more damage on the board. For sure. But that immediate up, he does like really not quite reset you to neutral, but it like puts you in a slightly like less bad disadvantage at times. Oh, there's the carry, and we got another boost kick, man. What is, what is that? Is that number four? Is that number four, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. The, the first stock in this game, in the, this game, was not that, right? It was something else. No, no, no. no. It was the the back air off stage. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> four, four out of four out of five is still pretty good. And Ryan was kind of settling in here. He's not. He was, you know, playing really aggressive early on. And now he's. Kind of a little bit more content to, to sit back for a little bit there. Yeah, he's got a two-stock two lead, and he tries to find the setup with a back throw into the flip kick. But uh, Matt, privy to that, and not going to get hit. Yeah, and oh, he's just, oh, oh, the suicide dare. I like the intent, but not going to work out for Rival. Yeah, and he's just, he's way, like, zeroing way more, just kind of retreating, throwing out the, the side B, and just kind of being like, all right, you come to me. You know, like we've talked about, so you just wait and make players like that, you know, come in and deal with, you know, your uh, bullshit you're throwing at him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the jabs and neutral coming out, and the back air should do the trick. No, it's not going to be enough. Sakurai faked us out on that yeah. one. Uh, with the cinematic finish, man. I love it. It's like it's like, it's like the uh, the red sparks never died. From Smash <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's always a little deceptive. It's kind of fun. I feel like it adds a lot of excitement oh. uh, to have that happen. <laughs> Okay, Rival trying to go off upstage with the uh, down air, but Matt just gonna, oh yeah, that's enough. Ooh, right <laughs> at the top. <laughs> watch, yeah. Up throw. It still always kind of shocks me, but Rival's gonna close that out with a JV3. Really, really dominant performance in that game, number two especially, and he's gonna be able to move on in the winner's bracket. Matt still having a really good showing here with the Game & Watch. Uh, I've actually never seen Matt prior to today, so I, I'm really impressed to see him come this far, already twice on the stream. I'm sure that's like,